I wanted to welcome everyone back to another episode of Between Two Cards. Today we have with us Skip Ford, and uh, this is an effort for us to keep our Audubon alumni and prospective students and Audubon family engaged and kind of keeping up with what everyone's doing right now. So I wanted to welcome Skip Ford. So welcome, Skip. Thanks. Greetings. Thanks for having me, Brandon. I'm glad that you're here today. So looking, for, I've been looking forward to this one for a little while. So, <laughs> but uh, how you been doing lately? You've been surviving. Yes, doing doing real well. Uh, the old wife being home, and of course our wonderful new new dog Hank. But uh, you know, cleaning around the house, organizing, and uh, I'm trying to have some fun. For anyone that may not know, you've been at Otterbein for quite a while. You were a student at Otterbein in 1977 till 80, right. and then right. came back and started. What what made you stick around Otterbein for so long? Well, I, I tell you, it's like what many of your, your athletes say, and probably yourself. Uh, I remember when I came down for like a recruiting visit in 77, and what struck me right away was how friendly everyone was, and not just the other students, but staff. I mean, professors. Etc. Everyone was saying, "Hey, good to see you." Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And you know, I wasn't an athlete. You know, I was going to help Coach Reynolds and help the football team. You know, be a student trainer, equipment manager kind of guy. And uh, so I, they just made me really feel welcome. I just said, "This is where I got to be." So much so, I know you felt that way, and you felt that kind of family feel for so long. Your son came to Otterbein as well. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you know, he was w with me when I was working, and he came over to the school with me and all the practices and actually helped me. So, you know, it's, in, it's embedded in him. And uh, he, there was no question where he was going to go to college. It was Otterbein. So it's, I was really fun father, as you know. <laughs> You've seen some really cool moments over the year. What was your favorite moment over the years? There's just so many, you know, there's so many just to see that the student athletes do so well. And, and of course, the, for me, the big one was hosting the regional championship for the basketball team for their national championship year and seeing the Reich center with more people than it should have been probably. And, and, uh, the unity with the Otterbein community was just unbelievable. I was so proud. I was really proud that day. So, and also I know you and I, your, your wife works on campus as well, right? What is, what is she doing on campus? She's an adjunct professor in, in uh, education, uh, for the student teachers. And then she also helps with the 1600 class the counselor for that. So, She's she's involved and enjoy, really enjoys. It. She might be more popular on campus than even you are. You guys got no, be no doubt popular people. Yes, she smiles a lot more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and another good thing was just the great workers that got to be with. You know, from Paul Nettlehorse, yeah. you know, your rink a dink, and and uh, <laughs> Bill Riggs drove the Oak Club bus. And, yeah, and then of course, uh, you know, Terry Fry we lost recently, and. Barry Fry is now over service department. So I just I've had a lot of good people to work with. And that just makes this job really yeah. joyful. You know, me and uh, the equipment guy down at Wilmington, Carl, you know, we say the same thing. We got, he and I probably have the best jobs in college athletics, being in equipment. And, uh, you know, not to beat on the coaches, but we don't have to deal with the athletes like you guys. And we have to work with you. But, Still, we have the work study kids and met so many great kids there. So yeah, it really is the best job in college athletics, I think. I really do. Yeah. No, thank you for everything. And I know I speak for the, all the coaches and all the athletes and just say thank you for everything you do for us. It's hugely important. It's nice knowing that we have someone there we can trust with all that stuff. So I appreciate Yeah, that. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you again so much for doing this today. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I think we need to revisit, come back, and ask you to tell a few more stories one day. Okay, so. I'd be glad to. Well, and thank you for viewing and jumping in and watching another episode of Between Two Cards. If you have an idea on future guests that we might have, please send that to career at otterbine.edu. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thanks.